All right, check, check, check. One, two, three, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back. We're on week three now. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do in the third week of your music career so that you're never confused, okay? You need this whole calendar, okay? 100% free calendar below or go to rappershortcut.com slash go, okay? 100% free calendar. These videos that I have right here are breaking down the calendar a lot more in depth so you really understand why you need to go learn these skill sets in this order. The Rapper Shortcut's there to help you and it comes with the music manager that'll help you get even further faster and if you have any questions, we're here to help you. It's not like anything else. Bro. Now let's talk about the first part of week three. And it's a little bit different than everything else. And it's called artist identity, okay? It's about getting you into a headspace of understanding that you're an artist. Getting rid of these rejections and these fears and these doubts and the anxiety that you have inside, okay? And understanding where these actually come from. Because once you understand those things, you can understand yourself. And the better you understand yourself, the better you can control yourself and turn yourself into a superstar. There's no way you can go do anything that you want to do in your life unless you know who you are. And you also understand where that anxiety comes from why you're scared of things, why you do something called self-sabotage that I did all the time. If you don't know what self-sabotage is, we do it to ourselves all the time. And let me explain this. This is one of the products that I didn't make. This is one of the products that was made by the person who actually told me what self-sabotage was. It was made by Sutton, who's on my team, and she has an Ivy League degree. This top 10 school, actually, it's a top five school, actually. She has a degree from Columbia in New York, okay? Ivy League, like smarter than me in so many ways. I'm street smart, I, I got hustle, all these things. I'm smart with a lot of things. She's book smart, she's very smart. So Psychology. She understands all these things. And when she explained to me what self-sabotage was, I realized what it is. And I want to break this down for you so you understand this real quick. And this video will be a little bit inspirational as well. Self-sabotage, and you've done this. I know you have because I do it. Is when you see an opportunity coming for you. You have an opportunity for something, but because you know it's going to further you, because you know it's different, and it takes you out of a comfort zone that you have, you sabotage yourself or you screw yourself over on the thing or whatever it is simply to retract and come back into this place of more comfort because that move forward was scary and we do this as music artists right we'll make an incredible song and then we'll be like I'm gonna release it or whatever or maybe you do release it and then you don't promote it because you know once you promote the song you may actually start gaining fans and you know if that song takes off it's scary you want it but it's scary that's a form of self-sabotage or if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and everything's going good and then you cheat on them because the idea of being happy with that person and being with that one person was too much it was scary you sabotage Right? And I've sabotaged myself so many times by not doing things, like not promoting a record enough, by, by shooting myself in the foot, by having an opportunity and then screwing it up for myself on purpose and subconsciously. We don't even know we do this. And that's what this first part is. It's, it's about your identity and understanding who you are and knowing these things so you don't do them. Because now every time I'm about to, something's happening, I think, am I sabotaging myself? And then that stops me from sabotaging myself. That's why you need to know it, because you'll stop sabotaging yourself, right? So it's all about, it's about identity identity, artist identity, okay? And this is gonna help you get rid of these fears, these anxieties and these doubts that you have in yourself right now, which I know we all do, I still have them too. It's Because I'm always moving forward. And when you're moving forward, these things are scary. And it's only because it's the unknown. It's darkness. I don't know what's ahead of me, but I know it's something that I haven't done yet. And that's why we get scared of things. And this helps you find those things and identify them so you don't get lost in them so you don't quit early, so you don't have the anxiety and you don't have the fear and you don't self-sabotage. And this is especially important after you have the initial part of your brand and everything put together, right? Because how are you gonna move forward? This is what's gonna, this right here, this is what's gonna help you move through the rest of everything. This right here, this right here, okay? So you need to go learn these things. Go research. If you don't have the rapper shortcut, go research self-sabotage, go learn basic human psychology, anxiety, fear, the way, the way and the reason that you feel like this, okay? And if not, if you wanna go get the rapper shortcut, I'll put a link below for you we'll explain it to you okay all right now the next thing i know you're excited for this i'm excited for this 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 is unlike anything else Sutton also made this which is fr it's freaking it's stupendous the rapper style bible okay and this thing i'll put an image on the screen of this this thing is amazing okay and that's why it's actually i was like i was like now you gotta name this the bible you gotta this is the bible this thing and i'm gonna put it on the screen like i said this shows you how to dress yourself off of your brand. Once you've already found your brand here, it shows you how to dress yourself. Everything from hair, earrings, face, tattoos, chains, jewelry, color of jewelry, shoes, color of clothing. Your co it helps you find your color palette. Do you know what a color palette is? Because you should only be wearing certain colors to represent your brand. You have brand colors, which is actually also taught to you in this, in the branding. The Style Bible teaches you how to dress. It's really cool. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. I don't, I don't even show you guys too much of this. 
on the screen, but this is what this is. And we explain to you how to go find the clothing that you need. So you're not, I'd say one of the mistakes that I made, another reason why this was made, was I went out there and I bought up all these clothes. You know what, maybe I'll, I'll dub in a picture of my closet. I bought all these clothes. I don't wear any of these clothes. But you know why I spent all this money on these clothes, tens of thousands of dollars on these clothes? It's because I was trying to find my image. I didn't know what worked for me because I hadn't established what I wanted that image to be. And I'm right in between. What am I? Am I this? Am I, am I that? Like I know who I am, I know my brand, but what's the image that goes with the brand? And I've been buying these clothes well, way prior to having like super established who I was and really solidifying my brand as a whole. And I wish that it hadn't taken so long because I would have saved tens of thousands of dollars. I didn't realize how important branding was until I, you know, until like way later. And that's why I'm like, Jesus, if I would have did this in the beginning, everything would have been way easier. This is, it's not even that hard. I was just scared of it, right? But you gotta have your brand together and then you can put your clothes together and you won't spend that much money on clothes because you'll know what color clothes to wear, what type of clothes to wear. You're not gonna go be wearing designer clothes, right? Unless that's your style, right? But you don't really need to wear designer clothes because you could look like you're a designer. Like, like this outfit right here, these are $200 pants. These, I mean, yes, they are designer, but they're not, like, it's not like Gucci or whatever, but it costs, you know, costs a bunch. That $30 shirt, so I don't overdo it. I used to wear designer stuff, but I don't need to. What a waste of money all that stuff was. It just looked generic and it looked corny. That's not me. It may look good on you, that's not my brand, right? These look good on me, right? But I'm not overdoing it. I'm not too flashy and shiny. This is just enough flash, okay? And I had to discover that. And you need to discover this for yourself too. You don't need 50 gold chains. You don't need, you know, or maybe you do, but you need, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna know if you go research how to do this. So the thing is though, is I remember I would watch videos on style, you know, color coordination, all these things, and, and trying to figure out how to do men's fashion, uh, artist fashion, things like that. And there wasn't really anything for artist fashion actually. It was really just fashion in general. But this is the only thing that specifically exists that is for rappers to find their image and their style to stand out from the crowd and also keep it on brand. And that's what you need to go do. You need to go find that stuff. But again, this is something that doesn't really exist online. You can go research fashion and find it out for yourself, but make sure it matches your brand. So realistically, if you're gonna get the brand you want, the, you kind of need to go get both of them. And I'm gonna put a link below for the individual artist identity and style level. I'll put the link below for you. You can get them individually, or you can go get the whole rapper shortcut and it comes with everything, okay? But if you just want to get the style bible, I'll put a link below for you. But it's very important because it's funny because in week three, I actually have you spend like two to four hours of your time shopping and saving pictures of clothes that'll match for you. And if you don't remember, in the last video we talked about, rapper shortcut comes with a manager. So you're able to show your manager your clothes and we'll say yes or no. We'll tell you, that's the look. That's your style. Save us some money, go get a couple outfits, and you're gonna be able to do some photo shoots, get your EPK built. We show you how to do everything. But week three, artist identity, style Bible. Style Bible. Oh, I love that name. And again, look at the pictures of it. It's beautiful. It's so well put together. Again, she has an Ivy League degree. She knows what she's doing, okay? And she's the one who teaches you guys this stuff. She's she's good. This alone. Even if you bought this individually, this will save you hundreds of thousands of dollars because you won't have to do what I did, which was go buy every piece of clothing and buy all this jewelry that I don't even wear to see what was my look and my style. So much, I'm, I'm, again, I'm gonna put a video of my stuff. Look, look at all my jewelry. I don't wear any of this, I don't wear any of it. How many watches I have? I don't wear any of it. I have rings, I don't really even wear rings. It's very occasional, right? But look at all the clothes. I don't wear any of these clothes, man. I have a bathtub full of clothes that just, I just threw in the bathtub because I don't use the bath, I have, my, I have a shower as well. And it just sits in the bathtub, all these clothes I bought. And then I gave away a ton of my clothes. You don't even see all the clothes that I owned. Like, what a waste of money all this stuff was. And I don't want you to waste your money. I want you to spend your money exactly what you need to spend your money on. That's the whole point in Rapid Shortcut too, is to save you time and then save you money so you don't make the mistakes I made. That was a mistake I made. That was tens of thousands of dollars in mistakes. You don't have to make those mistakes. Look how many shoes I have. God, I mean, I, I, haven't, even, I haven't even worn a bunch of these pairs of shoes, to be honest with you. Some of them still, still got the shoelaces just tied on there. You know what I'm saying? They, they haven't even been tied yet, you know? But that was because I was in this phase of, oh, what's good, look? What's, the, what's what I need to wear? What goes with what? Right? You won't have to make that mistake. But there you go, that's week three. And next I'm gonna give you week four, which is where we start getting a little bit into marketing, which is, I'm extremely excited to show you that because that's gonna blow your mind, all right? This is week three. If you wanna get any of these products, I'll put a link below for you for each individual product. You can check them out. Or if you're smart, you're gonna save a lot more money. Just go get the rapper shortcut, get the music manager. You're gonna be able to start, you're gonna get in here.
It's going to be crazy, okay? All right, hit me with a comment. Hit me with a like. Please hit me with a subscribe and make sure to check out the rest of these videos because I'm going to make 48 of these, okay? And don't forget you can get the calendar for free that I'm actually talking about here. You can get it for free. Link's going to be below. Rappershortcut.com slash go and go see if you can get your hands on the Rapper Shortcut right now because it's only uh, available certain times, all right? So link's going to be below. Keep hustling, gang. I'll see you at the top and I'll see you with the next video, week four. Let's keep going. <laughs> And it's only right I say I'm out yeah. Shark Tank is probably all this money or the cars only parking yeah. I've been eating good, stacking chips like a car game yeah. Walk around knowing none of shit like a fart stack All my shit is new age, I'm new age